it's beautiful out. It's like 50 degrees, I think. Hopefully it's like this when we play. February in Maine is not baseball weather. It's like Florida weather today, buddy. Pretty soon they'll be butts in the seats cheering for the mules. For head coach Jesse Woods, 50 degrees feels balmy. I need to stop talking about the weather because I feel like I jinx Yeah, you do jinx it. Yeah, I, I think I jinx, jinx us every time I talk you about it. You do jinx it. Yeah, so today it's going to be freezing in an hour. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's bring it up. From a baseball standpoint and a talent level, I really feel like this team is a championship caliber team. What? What? We can beat you on the mound. We can beat you defensively. We can beat you with the bat. There's just something special about this group that makes them just a little bit different. Brady O'Brien is one of the best players in New England, just out there producing at a really high level. Nick's uh, our resident Mainer, loved by his teammates. He's got a comedic style to him, but fierce competitor. Jack's the guy that the other team doesn't want to see warming up in the bullpen because it's strikeout time. Lockdown, game over type of pitcher. It's a really tight crew. I think they really enjoy each other as much as they enjoy the baseball part of being together. And I think that helps make them a better team, you know? Where's the mic? Oh, shot. It's right here. I mean, I should, I should, um, should want to say hi to my mom, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. How are we doing? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. My name is Cole Palmieri. Um, I'm a junior and I'm a catcher. Tony, yeah. <laughs> doing man. To, pleasure to see. Pleasure you. to see you as it's well. Fine afternoon. <laughs> Cole Palmieri, he's the heart and soul of our team out there. He's involved in every single pitch. He's our catcher. Offensively, I think he's one of the best hitters in our conference. He just has a way about him that brings others up to his level. I mean, I'm way faster than you. <laughs> Individually, like my goal is just to help this team win as much as possible. When we start winning, it's just so much fun. Like last year was some of the most fun I've ever had playing baseball. Last year, the team was on sort of a magical run at the end there. And as it relates to this year, I, I just think it gives us great optimism for what, you know, there's, there's, there's more to achieve this year. Colby attracts high achieving people. Good, 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 safe. Nice job, guys. Colby's Comprehensive Peak Performance Program is central to achieving those high standards. Peak performance is a great term to describe a holistic model for caring for our athletes. So our goal is to improve health and overall performance in all of our student athletes from the aspect of sports medicine, strength conditioning, nutrition, psychology, and sports science. This progression has been coming for decades, honestly. You know, try to keep it like straight in the air. What's really interesting is that Colby College, we're the very first to incorporate this full holistic model at the Division Three level. So anytime they're in the weight room, at least once a week, especially within uh, their preseason, they're dumping on the force plates. So that way we can track fatigue, power development, uh, jump height, and then overall strength reactive index. So those are kind of our four main characteristics that we look at a week-to-week -week basis. The peak performance stuff is good because it doesn't only help you perform better, but it helps you stay on the field. Like with the force plate testing, they're able to see if we're getting burnt out or anything like that, and they, we can like nip it at the bud and start recovering a little extra. You try to think about being as bouncy as you can. So that's what, that's what the test is measuring, right? How reactive you are, right? So we can see if your elastic measures are where we want them to be. Exactly. Ready? Two, three, four, five. That was better too, I mean, you were kind of all over the place in the force yeah. plate, but it was able to catch everything. Peak performance, the strength and conditioning, taking care of their bodies, you know, hitting that next level with the off season. I think performance is everything, you know, and it, you know, the foundational pieces that are there from, you know, sleep to nutrition, hydration, you know, and then obviously the, the fun stuff that everyone wants to talk about with the skills and the performance and the lifting and the agilities and the speeds. 
The routines play a huge piece in it. Uh, our guys are on a, a solid routine of arm care, conditioning, strength. It's very organized throughout the week where they're not going to overdo it. There's nothing like experience in just getting some of that work in. I think that everything here is really just made to benefit us and that's Athletic Center is unreal. Um, beautiful facilities, beautiful weight room, beautiful field, beautiful cages. We're able to play a game on March 4th in Maine when it snowed a foot the day before. So, you know, I can't be grateful enough. It's definitely made a huge difference. All right, let's go. So there's some benchmarks that, that this team wants to achieve here. Chris, clean. Colby hasn't won a NESCAC championship before. Last year was the first time Colby played in the, in the NESCAC tournament. Colby Baseball hasn't won a, a Division III national championship. They want to be the team that does it first here at Colby. I like to win. I want to win. I trust my teammates all around us. Like We pick each other up. Yeah, I just want to win as much as possible. Do everything that I can to help all my teammates succeed and help us win you know, the overall goal of a NESCAC championship and hopefully a national championship as well. You know, like these guys are there for each other. You know, they're a band of brothers. They'd do anything for one another. And year in, year out, if you start collecting more and more of those players and putting them together, good things start to happen. Just excited for the season. Go Mules. Next up, the road to winning that championship begins in Florida as the Mules travel to spring training to compete against opponents from around the country. This is a special team, like these are my best friends. Like just enjoying every single moment with them is that's what I'm looking forward to the most.